Global energy consumption in most HICs is very high, especially in countries such as the USA and Canada, along with many European countries as well as areas of the Middle East. We need to find out why global energy demand is rising, but why the supply isn't always evenly distributed. Areas with high energy consumption tend to have growing industrial and transport sectors, as well as an overall increase in domestic use. Some regions of the world have more energy resources, like coal and oil, than others. This has led in the past to greater energy security. This is the balance between the production of energy, energy supply, and the consumption of energy, the demand. If the supply of energy exceeds the demand, the country will have a surplus whilst if the demand outstrips the supply, there is a deficit, and the country will suffer from energy insecurity. Regions that experience energy security include Russia and Eastern Europe, containing large reserves of natural gas and oil, as well as uranium used in the generation of nuclear energy. Also, many countries in the Middle East, such as Qatar, have vast reserves of oil, but some have unstable political regimes that can affect fuel supply from time to time. Regions that experience energy insecurity include Western European countries who are largely dependent upon imports of natural gas and oil to maintain their industries and domestic demand. North America has very large coal reserves and has tremendous potential to develop shale gas and oil, but needs to develop these industries further to make them viable, economically and environmentally. North America has huge energy consumption, which is growing each year. Areas of Asia have large uranium and coal deposits, but the increasing populations, rapid industrialization and development has increased demand to a point where it's outstripping supply, plunging much of Asia into energy insecurity. Finally, there's sub-Saharan Africa, where there's a limited supply with rapidly increasing demands from rising consumption levels. This area also relies on foreign transnational corporations to develop the energy reserves in areas such as Nigeria. There are a number of factors that affect the energy supply, such as physical factors. Coal and oil only develop in certain areas according to the geology and the conditions over the area over millions of years, whilst geothermal energy can only be produced in areas of suitable tectonic activity, such as Iceland. The climate of an area can determine the type of renewable energy that can be produced, with certain amounts of sunshine and wind being required to make solar and wind energy viable. The location of dams need to be carefully considered and planned on a suitable site, whilst tidal power will need a large tidal range in order to be effective. Some energy sources can be very expensive to exploit, with massive capital outlays on oil rigs and pipelines, whilst nuclear power stations can cost billions of pounds to design and build. Political factors can play a big role in development of resources as well as the consumption of them. The conflict in Ukraine has seen tremendous political pressure to reduce the imports of Russian oil and gas, but the economic implications for many countries in Europe have been wide-reaching, with the cost of fuel at the pump rising dramatically. Consumption is rising across the world, with countries demanding more and more energy as they develop. NEEs account for more than 90% of the growth in demand, with Asian countries like China leading the way. India and parts of Southeast Asia look set to take the lead through rapid industrialization. A rising population will also lead to increased demand, even more so as people become more prosperous and they start to demand greater amounts of energy through increased vehicle ownership, heating, lighting and domestic appliances. Supplying the world with the energy it demands is a massive challenge and countries now need to develop long-term sustainable approaches in order to maintain the levels of demand from a growing and more prosperous population.